All right, welcome to Yoga with Medi. I am Miss Sine with Be Mindful Yoga. And Medi and I are so excited to be with you uh, this evening. And tonight's class, oh, hello from Argentina. <laughs> tonight's class is all about the earth. So we're going to be talking about my friend Earth and all of the beautiful good that comes out of our Earth tonight. And Medi is so excited to share with you. So we are going to do a little bit of breathing, some pranayama. Then we have a beautiful, beautiful book that we're going to share with you tonight. And we are going to do some fun yoga poses. And then we'll do a little song. And then we'll take a nice little rest. So get ready for some fun with Medi and me, all right? Okay, so first we're gonna get started with a little breathing exercise. All right, so tonight we are going to do ocean breath. So since we're talking about the earth, what better breath to do tonight than to do ocean breath? And let me tell you, the ocean is one of my absolute favorite places in nature. I just love the sound and I love to watch the waves roll by and so does Mitty. All right. So for ocean breath, I want you to find a comfortable seat and sit up tall with your back straight, your crown of your head reaching to the sky. All right. You can put your legs crisscross applesauce if you'd like. Sit in easy pose just like Mitty. All right, so for ocean's breath, also known as Ujjayi breathing, we are really going to make the sound of the ocean with our breath. And so we're gonna use the muscles in the back of our throat to control our breathing. So I'll take you through this breathing exercise in a couple of steps. So the first way I like to start teaching ocean breath is to imagine ourselves fogging up a mirror, okay? So I want you to take your hand and imagine that it is a mirror. You know how when you take a shower or a hot bath and all of the fog gets on the mirror? That's what we're gonna imagine that we're doing with our breath today, okay? So I want you to take a big deep inhale in through the nose. And then I want you to make a ha sound when you blow on your mirror. So let's take that deep breath in. Great job. That's a wonderful way to start your ocean breath. Now for the second step of ocean breath, we want to make sure that we know how to control those muscles in the back of our throat, right? So now let's take a deep inhale in through the mouth and then we'll exhale it out through the mouth. So putting your hand, let's get our mirror and let's breathe in, <sighs> exhale it out. <sighs> Great job. Now for all of the magic. I want you to take a deep breath in through the nose and then I want you to close your mouth. Keep your mouth closed and make that same sound and hold it in the back of your throat, okay? Let's do that three times. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale it out. Hear that ocean sound in the ears. Another deep breath in through the nose. Exhale it out. Great job. One more deep breath in through the nose. Exhale it out, keep the mouth closed. Great job with your ocean breath. Give them thumbs up, Medi. Medi says, thumbs up. All right, now for our beautiful book that we are going to read today. So this magical book is called My Friend Earth. And look at this beautiful character. She is a depiction of Mother Earth, right? And so this is a wonderful, wonderful story. So Medi and I are going to read it to you. I want you to pay close attention to the story because there are some things that we're gonna discover in this book and we're gonna do some fun yoga poses 
after those things, okay? This awesome book is called My Friend Earth. It is written by Patricia McLean and illustrated by Francesca Sana. And the publisher was so gracious enough, Chronicle Kids Books was so nice enough to send me this wonderful book to share with you tonight. So I'm so excited. All right, so My Friend Earth. You ready, Medi? Okay, Medi is ready. Look at Mother Earth. She's lying down. She's sleeping. And this beautiful book has die cut pictures. So it's so nice. So let's read the first page. My friend Earth wakes from a winter nap. So here she is. At first she was asleep. And now Mother Earth wakes up from her nap. And look at the pages. It's scalloped at the top. Right? She hears the busy spring sounds. The farmer's hoe tapping in the garden. The calls of crows. Ooh. She sees the little, the silent seed, the spider spinning sliver, and the robin and the wrens. Beautiful. Look at all of the spiders. And she's so excited to see everything. Beautiful illustration. Now let's see. And the large, the long winged albatross crossing the sea, the mole tunneling in the underdark. She guides the chimpanzee to her night nest. Oh, look at the sleeping chimpanzee. So cute, right? <laughs> and the zebra baby to find his mother in the hundreds of black and white striped mothers. Beautiful zebras. And there's Mother Earth in the sea of the zebras. She trends the prairie where sun dappled with horses run through grasses that swish against their legs. So look at Mother Earth. Beautiful, beautiful. Pay close attention to what you see. The tundra where the reindeer graze for moss and the glistening ice where the young polar bear pads on mittened feet. She guards all of the creatures in all the oceans. The black manatee rays sleek like shadows. The shining parrotfish the tiny krill who swim with millions of other krill to look big. And the whales who are big. All of the fish and the beautiful whale. You like this book, huh, Maddie? I love the little cutouts. My friend Earth pours the summer rain to fill streams flowing down mountains, through the fields, to the rivers, to the sea. And look at Mother Earth there. All right. Sometimes she pours too much rain, flooding towns and meadows and roads until she dries the land. So here you have Mother Earth. She's making it rain, and then she's drying the land on this side. Beautiful Mother Earth. Sometimes she blows fierce autumn winds, 
sweeping the limbs of trees and shingles from the roofs of barns. Look at her blowing. Until she steals the wind, so red and orange and yellow leaves float to the ground. Beautiful. When cold comes again, my friend Earth sprinkles the snow, whisper silent, covering the dens where the baby black bears are born in soft darkness. Drifting over the icy pond where the turtle sleeps in mud, settling into the empty nest of birds. Under the white, the silent seed is cradled in the dark soil, watching. So she's peeking over. Beautiful, beautiful illustration. Sleeping bears, waiting. Now she's going back to sleep. to fly up again in the warm, bright sun of spring. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is a great book about all of the wonders of Mother Earth and all of the magic that is created through rain, through wind, through rivers and oceans, and just a magical, poetic, beautiful description about Mother Earth and all of her glory. And so, as you all know, we have to make sure that we treat her just as good as she treats us and take care of her for many, many years to come. All right, so I hope you paid attention to some of the animals and some of the things that we saw on this book adventure. So now, Medi and I are going to show you some fun yoga poses. Are you ready? All right. Okay, so in the book, Medi and I, we saw a mountain, all right? So for the mountain pose, Medi is going to stand up with his feet firmly planted on the ground, right? And he's going to make his spine nice and straight, his crown reaching high to the sky. And for this mountain variation, we're just going to Put our arms down by our side, palms facing forward. Mountain pose. So great job, mountain pose. Good job, Manny. All right, so the next pose that we saw was there were some trees. There were some trees that we heard, read about in the beautiful book, My Friend Earth. So let's do our tree pose. With your one foot, let's keep our left leg. We're going to keep that left foot planted on the ground. And we're going to raise our right foot up. You can bring it to your ankle or you can bring it right below your knee. And if you really have good balance, you can bring your foot above your knee. And so for tree pose, we can bring our branches of our tree out and stand tall in tree pose. Great job. Good job, Medi. All right, so another one of the things that we read in the book, My Friend Earth, was a fish. There were several fish that we saw in the book, that we read about in the book. So Medi's going to attempt to do his fish pose. So lying on your back, taking your forearms and placing them down beside you. And then tilting your head back. Forearms on the mat. Tilting your head back for fish pose, fish pose. Good job. All right, so another thing that we saw, let's see, what else did we see? Oh, we saw some birds, or we read some birds, and we saw some beautiful illustrations of birds. So we're going to do warrior three for flying birds, okay? So we're going to keep our left foot planted on the ground. 
We're gonna open out our butterfly wings and then we're gonna lift one leg to fly and we're gonna lean forward for flying bird, warrior three. Great job, Medi. All right, and another thing that we saw, let's see, we, oh, we read about a turtle, all right? So Medi's gonna do his turtle pose. So you're gonna sit down, um, kind of like when you're doing a butterfly pose when you put your feet together. But instead, you're gonna put your hands, or your arms underneath your feet and try to get your hands on the mat, all right? So let me show you this pose for turtle on the mat. Bring your hands underneath and you can snap, snap, snap like a turtle. Great job. All right, and so the next thing we saw, Medi, let's see, we saw a horse. There were actually some horses in the book as well. So Medi is gonna show you how to do his horse pose. And so for a horse pose, we're just gonna do um, a low lunge, okay? So for horse pose, we're gonna keep our, we're gonna start in our standing position. We're gonna step, in this case, our left foot back, come down on our knee. We're gonna bend that front leg. So you have your front leg bent and you're on your back knee. And then we're gonna raise our arms up for horse, beautiful horse's head for horse pose, also known as your low lunge. Great job, May. All right, and another thing we read about were bears, right? So we can do, let's say we could do some bear walks. So for bear walks, we can get into our downward dog position. So starting, let's show you where you start always. Starting with your feet hips distance apart like you would for your mountain pose. Then we're just gonna go forward, right? We're gonna extend those arms out, head down, feet back, but firmly planted on the ground. So this is our downward dog. But we can imagine ourselves being a bear, right? So we can get into our downward dog position, right? And then we can bend our feet and we can walk through the forest like we are a bear. We also do this when we wanna take our dog for a walk. Good job. All right. So hope you enjoyed those yoga poses. So now Mehdi and I are gonna do a fun little song so we can put those poses to use, all right? Let me get some music on here. Mehdi loves his music. This song is called Five Wonderful Letters. All right. Do you know? Do you know which are the five letters I like the most? E A R T and H they are. Can't see our tree pose. What they say? They say Earth, our beautiful home and sweet home, and we are lucky to live in it. Tree. It's the Earth, our beautiful place. All right, let's do our mountain pose. Bird pose. Fly the wings. They 
is called Five Wonderful Letters and they spelled out Earth. So it's a really fun song to go with the wonderful My Friend Earth book that Maddie and I read. So hopefully you enjoyed the book. It's a beautifully illustrated book. Um, the, the video probably doesn't do it enough justice, but it actually is a very beautiful book. So happy to have it as part of my book collection for my classes. And Maddie really enjoyed it as well. So now we are gonna take a nice rest. So if you are at a place where you can lie down, please lie down. If you are at a place where you can just sit with your back up against the wall, feel free to lie down. And if you are comfortable, you may close your eyes, okay? Enjoy. This song is called I Am Earth. I am the river
Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining Medi and I tonight for a class all about the earth. And remember this beautiful book, My Friend Earth, took us on a wonderful journey, right? And Mother Earth is truly a gift to us. She gives us so much. She gives us the sun. She gives us the moon, the oceans, the rivers, the mountains, the lakes, and so much more. So it is up to Medi, myself, and each one of you to make sure that we treat her well for many, many, many years to come so that she can continue to give us all of the beautiful gifts of nature that we get to experience every single day. Thank you again for joining us. And as we get ready to bid you farewell, I'd like you to put your hands at your heart center with Medi and I. And repeat after me. May I be safe. May I be peaceful. May I be kind to myself. May I accept myself as I am. Remember, take care of our friend Earth. Namaste. Good night. Thank you so much for joining.